This tutorial will show you how to create a new birth chart in Parashara's Light. First, click on File in the top menu bar of the software and select New from the drop-down menu. The birth data screen will appear and the cursor will be in the Name field. Type in the first and last name of the person. Press the Tab key to go to the Gender field. By default, male is selected. If this is the correct gender, you don't need to do anything and can proceed to the next field. To switch the gender, either with the mouse cursor or with the right arrow key, select Female. When the correct gender is selected, press Tab to move to the Date field. The entire date field will be selected, which makes it easy to replace the date that is there. Entering the date is very intuitive. You can type the date just like you would say it. First the name of the month. The first three letters are sufficient. And then the day, and then the year. There is no need to put commas or slashes. Spaces will suffice. Press the Tab key to move to the next field. You will see that the format of the date has changed a bit and now also shows the day of the week in parentheses. This allows you to verify that the software understood what you typed and that you typed the date that you intended. So it is after pressing Tab that is the ideal time to double check the date. Take a moment and look at the date and make sure that everything is correct. Now we are ready to edit the time field, which is already selected, making it easy to replace the time that is there. You can enter the time based on the 24-hour clock, also known as military time, or with the time plus a.m. or p.m. Let's enter a quarter past four in the afternoon, which would be 4.15 p.m. Press the tab key to move to the next field. You will see that the format of the time has changed to the 24-hour clock. This allows you to verify that the software understood what you typed and that you entered the time that you intended. So it is after pressing the tab key that is the best moment to double check the time. Look at the time and make sure that everything is correct. Now we are ready to enter the place of the birth. In the country field, USA is the default setting. For this example, let's assume that the birth was in the U.S., so tab is pressed to move to the state field. For the USA, you must always select the state. One way to select the state is from the pull-down menu. For example, we choose Arizona. Or, you can press the first letter of the state repeatedly, with brief pauses in between each. Let's select Connecticut by pressing the letter C until Connecticut shows. Now press Tab to go to the City field. Before continuing, let's do this again for a non-U.S. country, for example, Australia. You can also select the country by pressing the first letter of the country on your keyboard. For example, for Canada, press the letter C on your keyboard repeatedly until you get to Canada. When the correct country shows in this field, press Tab to move to the state field. For countries other than the U.S., entering a state is optional. If you know the state, you can select it or tab directly to the city field. I will select the state with the mouse and choose Alberta. Press the tab key to move to the city field. I am entering the city with a spelling error to show what will happen. Press the tab key to leave the city field
and notice that the software indicates that the city was not found by presenting some related alternatives. Select the correct city and click OK. Now the chart preview shows in the upper right corner, verifying that the city lookup was successful and that the birth data is complete. Also in the bottom left you will see the longitude, latitude, time zone, and daylight savings time automatically filled out. You are finished now and can click OK to exit the data entry form.